Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you are doing absolutely well, this is AT back with another video. So today it's gonna be the review of the Superior OS based on Android 9.05 for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Superior OS. Let me first show you the about device section before showing you anything else. So going into the Android version, as you can see, it's based on Android 9.05 obviously. And this is the official version of Superior OS Nemesis. The security patch is of 1st August 2019, let us still date. And again, as you can see, the kernel here is the Illusion Plus version is 4.4.189. We have seen this kernel, the same version of this kernel in the previous ROM that was the Resurrection Remix ROM. And as you can see here, the build number, it says superior, wired, user, debug, etc. And the build date here is 15th of August 2019. By the way, guys, happy Independence Day to all of my viewers, all of my subscribers. Swatantra Divas ki dher sari shubh kaam nae. Swatantra dinacharya neya subhashya galu. So continuing with the review, as you can see, as I told you earlier, the build date here is August 15, 2019 and talking about digital well-being, it is also there here and the graph is properly shown over here. I haven't updated anything yet. Still, the graph is properly showing here, as you can see. So talking about the security and location, fingerprint scanner is also working absolutely well, as you can see, fast enough and similar to the Resurrection Remix ROM 2. Fingerprint performance is really good. Location also works fine. Talking about display option, again, all the standard options are present over here. I'm not going to repeat this again over here. Double tap to wake is enabled by default. I didn't enable that. No haptic feedback again, but it works absolutely well. Font size, display size, etc. can also be changed from here. Also the font and the accent color. So talking about the customization option, let me show you the customization options that comes with this ROM. As you can see, it comes with all the required customization options like the status bar customizations and also the network traffic monitor can be enabled from here. It will show your current upload and download speeds. Also the battery icons, I mean the battery style. The battery percentage is hidden over here, but if you do it here like this, it is visible let me enable next to the icon and it works absolutely well as you can see brightness control over the status bar is also there as you can see working well though no any issues with that rounded corners as you can see it's enabled and the corners are a bit rounded over here it looks a little bit better with the rounded corners and as i told you earlier all these customizations are pretty much similar to other roms you can check any of my rom reviews for the redmi note 5 pro i'll have some links in the description you can check it out i have reviewed these in like all of those roms i'm not gonna repeat that again in this video so talking about wi-fi bluetooth etc everything is working absolutely well i didn't have any issues with wi-fi bluetooth or anything like that it works like a charm so talking about the performance in this rom let me show you my last antutu score really quick as you can see i've got a score of 1,13,708 over here so those who need more information you can pause the screen and have a look at it as you can see so talking about the performance general performance is really good in this room i didn't have any issues whatsoever no lags whatsoever in the system it is running extremely well and talking about the pubg gameplay pubg was also running absolutely well as expected and it was pretty much similar to the resection remix room itself i played pubg for almost around one hour and for all the gameplays i mean i played three games i think there was no lag whatsoever and even there were no slight lags too even at the end it was running absolutely well a big thumbs up to the developer and the kernel dev too it's running absolutely well so talking about the battery life in this room let me show you my battery state still now so going into the battery and the battery states as you can see when i first booted rom the device was somewhere around 92 percent of charge later on i played pubg for almost around one hour and there the battery drain was exactly somewhere around 22 to 23 percent that's really good and again, this is not 100% accurate, but it's nearly accurate, I should say. It is approximate at least, and it's also better than some other ROMs. It's similar to the Resurrection Remix ROM again. I used YouTube for almost around 15 minutes, and there the battery drain was almost 5%. That's it, not more than that. And to the benchmark, browser, camera, etc. A couple of mixed usage over here. And as you can see, now the battery is down to 57%. I just cannot comment about the standby time because I need to test it further. Until now, the battery life in this room is pretty impressive. I'll continue to use this room at least for one more day. And I'll let you guys know on my Instagram or on Telegram. Do follow me over there. Link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere over here. So talking about the camera application, let me show you the camera app really quick. It's on portrait itself because I was testing that. And here it is, guys. Slight movement. And that's it. The portrait mode is freezed. Photo and video recording works absolutely well, but even with just a slight movement, this thing is just getting freezed. You should not move the camera, not even a little bit like this. Okay, let me try it here. Here it is. 
I'm not sure why is this happening in almost all the ROMs, the latest builds of all the ROMs, but this is the issue over here. It works fine, but only the portrait mode is having issues. And after that, you get this error. So you need to clear the app from the memory in order to use it again. Like that. If you don't check the device, it's working absolutely well, by the way. And guys, one more issue with the ROM is that pixel launcher is not working for some reason over here. As you can see, that's it. Now it will be giving an error. It just gets forced closed. As you can see, I'm not sure this is because of the G apps. What I have flashed, I have flashed G apps micro by the way, or it's the issue of ROM. I'm not sure, but I used the same G app package in the resurrection remix ROM, which I reviewed yesterday and the pixel launcher was working absolutely well in that ROM and not with this ROM. Not a major deal over there, launcher, launcher is also really good, it's working fine over here. So this was a quick review of the Superior OS Nemesis running on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I'm active over there, you can ask me any questions regarding text. This is all about Technology 247, signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.